What's happening? Paul Ingram here with Kali Center. Welcome back to my drill a day Kali training series, the ultimate Kali martial arts training series here on YouTube. All right, we are back on day seven. It's the last day of the drill a day series on the single knife. So, what we got today. Well, hit the subscribe button, make sure to smash that thumbs up button so that way you can find out. Let's go ahead, grab our training knife, and let's get to the drill. For today's training, for today's drill, we are combining some of the movements from the previous drills throughout this week. We're also including another new movement, which is the knife jab. The knife jab, this is a fast, flicking or thrusting motion of the knife. This is the fastest speed strike of the knife, okay? So let me kind of cover the, the jab and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the drill. So when it comes down to the jab, there's a few ways that you can work this particular uh, technique, but we're gonna be looking at it just like this. I'm gonna flick this thing out and we're looking to hit with the, uh, with the tip corner if we're in the forward grip. We're looking to hit with this very top corner and or the uh, the point. All right, so it's just a quick flick right there. If we're in the Pakal grip, then it's a direct thrust. Okay, so we're going to strike this. It comes back to the center line. We're going to roll this up and then strike it again. So we're going to do two knife jabs at the end of this particular drill. We're going to go a, a low jab and then a high jab. You probably have seen this one before if you worked last week on the Espadia Daga. We're working through some things and then we had that jab inside of the drill. Now we're just using the exact same tactic on the single knife. So from here, right, you're in that middle position. This is how you can isolate it. You're in this middle position. You flick it out low and then you can flick it out high. Okay? You could be in the reverse grip. You can thrust that thing low and then you can thrust that thing high. I want you to think it, it's a quick snap. Just like, you know, when you're here doing your boxing, doing your your, your pangamut, your panantukin, bop, it's a quick snap. Just like that jab, same thing, bop, very fast, out and back in. Today's drill consists of 14 movements. Let's go ahead and break it down. You're gonna know these movements from the previous drills of the week. All right, so we're gonna be starting off basically with yesterday's drill. We're gonna go into our broken one, our circular one, and then that fluid thrust. Our broken two, our circular two, and then that fluid thrust. Then we're gonna go back into the first drill, which is that one, two, vertical, and then we're going into the thrust. We have that four, uh, the center line thrust, the backhand thrust, and then we have that uh, forehand thrust right there, and then we're going to jab it low, and then jab it high right there, all right? Let's take a look at this again. Let's break it down again, nice and slow. From here, we have our broken one, our circular one. Make that circle all the way through to that forehand thrust. A broken angle two cut, a circular angle two cut, palm up, and the backhand fluid thrust. We move into the first drill of the week. Angle one, angle two, vertical, ending it at the hip, and then we go through our three thrusts our center line thrust, our backhand thrust, and our forehand thrust as we close that up. Then we go into the low jab, and then the high jab right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, show you this one from a couple of different angles, and that way you can see the drill, maybe get a little bit more detail out of it. Let's go ahead and get 10 reps in to complete round one of this drill together. We're gonna go very slowly, so I want you to take your time, think slow, and then gradually we're gonna build the smoothness of the movements. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna face kinda on an angle right here, so I want you to kinda 
you know, just angle it out a little bit to the screen so that way it's more like you're standing next to me, you know, instead of directly behind me on this one. All right, let's do it. Nice and slow, movement for movement in the beginning. So from here, we have rep one. We have a broken one, circular one, fluid on the thrust, the forehand thrust, a broken angle two, a circular angle two, remember that palm up, fluid backhand thrust, our angle one, our angle two, our vertical slash, notice the hand stops next to the hip, the right hip, center line thrust, transition, backhand thrust, transition, forehand thrust. Jab it low to the groin, and then jab it high, boom, right there, and kind of go to the, to the eyes there. Sometimes the low jab can go to the groin, sometimes it goes to the hand, okay? All right, rep number two, let's count it out, make sure we got all 14 movements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, right there. All right, rep three, let's go. Right into rep four. I want you guys to start thinking smooth, slow and smooth here. Okay. Broken, circular, fluid thrust, broken two, circular, fluid thrust, angle one, angle two down that X, vertical, split the X in half, thrust to the center. Thrust to the backhand. Thrust on the forehand. Low jab, pop. High jab, pop. Right there. Boom, now we got number five. I'm gonna kinda turn it a little bit so that way you can follow me from the other side. Broken. Two. Three. Broken. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, center line thrust, backhand thrust, forehand thrust, 13 jab it low, 14 jab it high. All right, ready? And what are we on, number six, slow and smooth. Here, I'm gonna go this way, slow and smooth. All right, seven. Eight, we're gonna speed it up just a tiny little bit, but still keeping it smooth. faster. Not much.
10, a little faster. Put a little more feeling into it. Like you're gonna do some damage. There you got it, round one on the last drill for week four on the single knife is complete. It's in the books. Go ahead and smash out rounds two through 10. You can pump them all out at once. You can break them up throughout the day. You can also work all this out on the, uh, on the left hand as well. And if you want to, if you really wanna go extra, extra ultimate beast mode, then you can also figure out how to do all the movements, this whole drill, on the reverse grip. All right, and uh, let me know in the comments if you're up for that challenge. Can you, can you get it? You got it, right? Right there. And then also, when you complete all of your uh, 10 rounds, make sure to tell me in the comments below, done, finished, thumbs up emoji, or however you want to let me know that you have completed today's training. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and the notification bell is turned on so that way you do not miss next week's upcoming drill a day. Training, videos, lessons, all that good stuff. Hit the thumbs up button on this video and if you want to dive much deeper into the art of Kali knife, I have a link in the description below to my Kali knife fighting course. It's a complete course, it's a very in-depth course you're gonna love it if you like the knife I have a discount code along with the link in the description box below so make sure to take advantage of that discount that I have going on for you guys right now on that course or any of the other trainings and you know materials and DVD downloads and all that stuff that we have available for you to continue your training with us here at Kali Center Make sure to get outside, make nature your dojo as often as you can, okay? Just get outside and train. Doesn't matter how big the space, how little the space, doesn't matter where, you're all, where you are, just get outside, get the sun on you, get the wind on you, get the rain on you, okay? It's very, very important. And then I will catch you back here tomorrow, kicking off a brand new week. That means we're moving into a, another area of Kali for week five. Day one. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.